2001 A Space Odyssey was directed by Stanley Kubrick and released in 1968. Deemed as culturally, historically, and aesthetically significant by the United States Library of Congress, this film is widely regarded as one of the greatest and most influential ever made. A science fiction film, 2001 A Space Odyssey, tells the story of a voyage to Jupiter with a sentient computer named Hal after the discovery of a black monolith affects the future of humanity. This film opens up with a scene from millions of years ago of a tribe of hominids who awaken one morning to find a giant black monolith. Influenced by the monolith, these apes learn how to use a bone as a weapon to use against other competing tribes in the desert. After this scene, the audience sees a jump cut to millions of years in the future. A jump cut, as defined by Barsam and Monaghan, is a sudden, perhaps illogical, and disorienting ellipse between two shots. This cut is so dramatic, in fact, that at first the audience probably questions what the first scene has to do with the next. From bone to satellite, we now are shown the great advances of mankind. Throughout the first half of this film, we are shown different familiar images. One of the first is early hominids finding their monolith, compared to man in the future finding their own monolith. We are also shown the familiar image of an eclipse multiple times throughout this film. The reoccurring images in this film are similar to the ones used in The Night of the Hunter, directed by Charles Lawton about 10 years prior. In response to this new discovery of a black monolith, a mission is sent to Jupiter. The mission team consists of five men although three are in a state of hibernation, and also Hal, a sentient computer. Sentient meaning he is capable of emotions, feelings, speech, and also intelligent beyond belief. After Hal makes a mistake regarding the spaceship's operation, the men begin to question Hal's accuracy and whether or not they should shut him off. In the last scene before intermission, we see Kubrick use shot, shot reverse editing to show Hal reading the lips of the astronauts to learn that they are planning to shut him off. Barsman Monahan defines shot reverse editing as one of the most prevalent and familiar of all editing patterns, consisting of parallel editing between shots of different characters, usually in either conversation or confrontation. We see shot reverse here by showing Hal watching the astronauts, and then we see through Hal's eye to see what he actually sees and how he's able to read their lips. This is an eerie way to end the first half of this film and set up for the second half. In a review by Roger Herbert, we see the impact that ASL, or average shot length between cuts, can have on an audience. Stanley Kubrick's 13-second ASL, which would be considered quite long compared to modern movies today, is designed to allow the audience to question every shot they see in this film. This proves Ebert's belief that 2001 was not created to thrill an audience, but rather to inspire their awe. And this quote from Kubrick helps us understand his reasoning behind the discontinuity in the first jump cut, and also why the film seems to take so long to pick up action. Kubrick's comment here shows us that it all is for a reason.